Hey, we're Lance Gibson, one of the coaches for Rampage Jackson. You've obviously been working out with Rampage because uh, you're looking pretty thick yourself. You taking the beatings from uh, from Quinton? Uh, not this camp, but um, been, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. Not as much as most camps, but we've done training them a lot harder, getting them motivated with strength and conditioning because I took over strength and conditioning this time as well. So, you know, I just had to put them through the same things I was doing, so it was good. Where's Quinton's mindset at? Because people are, you know, there's a couple of videos out there that he's not motivated, that he is motivated. Quinton's a fighter. We know that. Where's his head at right now? He's motivated. That's my job to get him wet the fire under his butt, right? He is motivated. You know, this I said, you know, we got a few more years left. Um, let's leave this on top. He is, you know, he doesn't want to be remembered any other way but be on top. So he's, he's, he's great. You mentioned a few more years left. He talks about he wants to leave the sport at 35. So it's only you know two, two or three, two and a half years to go. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the danger of people thinking he's already got one foot out the door. How do you keep him focused to say we got we got a job to take care of here? Oh no, he, he doesn't think of it that way. He thinks that you know if he, at 35 all these aches and pains. I don't want to be doing this anymore. I like to do some movies, this and that. Which is, why not? You know. But why he's here, he's motivated, and I brought in, I'm brought in to motivate him. So when we get to camp. You know, it's no playing around. You know, he's 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 doing it three times a day. He's doing what he has to do. He wants to win. He's a winner. He doesn't want to lose. You mentioned movies. Uh, will he be doing any movies leading up to by the time he turns 35, or is that just something that's going to be afterwards? Um, it depends. If we, you know, if we, get, I'm trying to keep him. I might re- I might even relocate to be closer to him. So that's that's kind of the um, the idea to keep him in the gym in between fights. I'd rather have him fight immediately. Once he beats Hamill, if I have him fight immediately again because just that's the way to keep Rampage hungry and in great shape. And I'll relocate down there to see, be close to him so he has somebody to work out with. Matt Hamill, he's not getting a lot of love out there. A lot of people are saying that this is a mismatch. But this is a dangerous fighter for Quinton. He's got to be aware of this full three rounds here. Yeah, you know, everybody's dangerous, you know. And like I said, when, when we first got into camp, I said, you just beat the baddest man in the world. We got through it. You beat Machida. Nobody said you could do it. He all said, now you got this guy. This guy has bought a lotto ticket, and he's put his whole life into it. He's got a lotto ticket. Don't let him win. We train. We, we're training harder for him than we did for Machida. And you know, and a lot of people, a lot of people around say, no, no, he's not that. No, this guy has one chance to get up into the top five. We're not giving him that chance. What's the perfect fight for Quentin on Saturday night? The one statement to say, you know what? A, not only did, did he just win, but B, I, I, he deserves a title shot. Knock him out. Knock him out. That's that's plain as day. There's no there's no if and buts about it. I want to finish. We want to finish him. And um, people say, oh, Quentin, you know, he's wrestling this and that. Quentin's an awesome wrestler. He beat Matt Lindland, Dan Henderson, Kevin Randleman. You know, you might see Quentin put put him down on his back and smash him. Thank you much for your time. All right, thank you, Gil. There you have it, Lance Gibson. He'll be in Quentin Rampage Jackson's corner Saturday night versus Matt Hamill, UFC 130.